Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here, and today we're going to look at Maxic, the muscle control master from the Bronze Era and Strongman, as well as his training methods. The photos that still circulate today bear witness to the marvelous drug-free physique that Maxic, he, and his business partner, Monty Saldo, of whom I will cover in a future video, as well as students like Billy Ralph, who I covered recently, developed their musculature and strength. All products, of course, of the School of Muscle Control. Their muscular development is just marvelous, and their definition, the level of muscularity, it would just make lifters today envious. More of these images will be showcased throughout this video. Max Seek later shortened to Maxic, was born June 28th, 1882. He was a sickly child and almost died at the age of five with lung problems and subsequent edemia and rickets. And so sick was he that he was only able to begin walking at the age of six. Soon after he witnessed a strong man at a circus performance in town, his obsession with gaining muscle and strength began. Young Max tried to fashion himself a dumbbell made out of stone, which his father smashed to pieces after being told by doctors that Max should not exert himself. Max, desperate to find a new means to train, began to contract his muscles using his own body and thus developed the muscle control system. Max Seek would go on to become a champion and world record holder in weightlifting, as well as open schools of muscle control, which are unfortunately in the most part closed. Muscle control, as explained by Max Seek, is the ability to exercise one's willpower to contract certain muscles while relaxing others antagonistic to them simultaneously. At advanced levels and stages, muscles can be taught to contract or relax without the need of mechanical action, but just with one's willpower. However, besides gaining muscle control and improving the tone of one's muscles, the most important skill or attribute learned from muscle control is willpower, which Maxic explains is exercised in muscle control because of the amount of concentration and intelligent effort that is needed to control a muscle in either contraction or relaxation, and he is right when you consider the types of muscle control learnt and taught by Maxig system. As previously explained in my video of Billy Ralph, the muscle control system is very complex, but its progression can be simplified into three phases, muscle control, P contraction, and body leverage exercises. Max Alding taught these methods in this progressive manner, and they worked. Muscle control was practiced for all major muscles as explained in Max Seek's classic book, Muscle Control by Max Seek, wherein Max Seek and his students explain in great detail 21 different exercises for training the different muscles such as the latissimus muscles, the trapezius, the pectoralis, major and minor, the muscles of the abdominal wall, that is the rectus abdominis, obliques and transverse abdominis, the deltoid muscles, the serratus muscles, the intercostals, the triceps and biceps muscles, the extensor and flexors of the forearms were also trained, the quadriceps, the hamstring muscles, and the muscles of the lower leg not just gastrocnemius and soleus, but all the other muscles that are involved in the calf area. For each exercise, uh, a contraction was usually held for about 5 to 10 seconds for several repetitions, and this would constitute usually a muscle control workout, which would last about half an hour to one hour. Now, although it would be great to show all the different photos and exercises in this book, I'd rather focus on several particular skills that I found rather interesting in regards to exhibition of advanced muscle control, which Maxic was famous for, as well as describe his training routine and how he applied the muscle control that he was so masterful at. Now let's look at some of these skills that uh, Maxic was rather famous for. These were of course the ability to vacuum and perform the rope, 
This exercise um, is called by the Maxaldist, which in yoga is actually called Nauli, and which is the ability to contract and relax the rectus abdominis muscles in an alternating fashion whilst holding a vacuum, which is pretty remarkable. The second is the control of the scapula uh, and shoulder joints and back muscles by the performance of the scapula throwout. I recently did a short on that. An equally remarkable display of muscle control that displays the flexibility and muscle control of the upper back and rotator cuff musculature to literally throw the scapula laterally and outwards from the body. Now looking at peak contraction, as explained in my previous video on Billy Ralph, Maxic would also use peak contraction exercises in which each muscle was contracted maximally using either one of the 21 different muscle control exercises for each muscle or using a light dumbbell. And yes, in this manner, the light dumbbell system or even Charles Atlas's dynamic tension system could be incorporated into a muscle control system, uh, training system that is, as these systems essentially use peak contraction principles. Again, single reps would be performed for several sets, uh, followed by deep relaxation or massage. Uh, body weight leverage exercises is like the third kind of section that one learns from muscle control and probably the most advanced. And these were also performed with a focus on controlling the muscles whilst performing body weight exercises. Many body weight exercises could be therefore incorporated, such as push ups, chin ups, uh, pistol squats, or single legged squats or even advanced calisthenics, essentially that's what we're looking at, calisthenics incorporation into uh, by applying muscle control. For example, very advanced uh, calisthenics such as one arm or one legged variations of the push up, chin up, uh, squat, etc. Uh, to demonstrate both muscle control and strength. Very low repetitions would also be employed or sets if you want to call it that, as this was considered as a very advanced form of muscle control. Note, Maxaldus believed in training the entire body during each workout as the workouts themselves were not meant to really exhaust the practitioner, but instead uh, entice a feeling of vigor by energizing the practitioner at the end of the routine. Now, looking at the routines themselves, here is a typical routine for a Maxaldist, which Maxic most likely used for himself at one time or another, and involves a three-day program with increasing intensity over the three days. Day one, static muscle control would involve one set of two to five repetitions, where each contraction is held for six seconds for all agonist and antagonist muscles of the body, followed by self-resistance exercises for all body parts, two to five repetitions of each movement, which would last six seconds and would be similar to dynamic tension. This would be followed by relaxation and stretching. Self-massage could also be incorporated to completely relax the muscles. Day two, ballistic muscle control exercises would be performed for 10 to 30 repetitions for each muscle of the body. And these would include exercises such as those of the light dumbbell system, or even using cables such as a chest expander that would allow a full range of motion in the exercise. These actions would be performed by synchronizing the breath with the exercise to create a rapid and rhythmic like motion of alternating contractions and relaxations. This would be followed by dynamic muscle control using virtual lifting movements such as Olympic weightlifting movements with a light barbell or kettlebell with the idea of applying one's muscle control ability into the weightlifting movement. Two to five repetitions would only be performed. And some of you might be asking why so many, you know, low reps? Well, if you're only doing two to five reps per exercise, you might be asking that, um, or, or just per muscle group. But understand that each rep, especially in an advanced stage, would be performed very slowly. And we're talking, you know, each rep for advanced students would last between one to two minutes long. Talk about, you know, time under tension, and you have to do that two to five times. That's that's some pretty long time under tension per muscle group. 
And here again, it's important to note that we see the importance of being able to apply muscle control to weightlifting and sports, which is really the whole point of the muscle control system. Uh, on day three, muscle control body weight leverage exercises are the most advanced exercises in the muscle control system and require great strength and great ability to control one's muscles. Only again, two to five repetitions could be performed or would be performed per exercise, which would include two or in super advanced stages, one arm variations of, for example, calisthenic movements. Again, we're talking calisthenics here, such as the push up, such as the chin up or squats, or performing slow hand balancing postures, or even handstand push ups. Again, each rep could last one to two minutes long, and such a workout would be finished with peak contraction exercises for each body part for two to five repetitions for each maximal contraction, which was held again for 10 seconds long, a lot of time under tension, after which one would relax, massage, and stretch the muscles to recover. Such a three-day routine would be performed by very advanced athletes such as Maxik six days a week by repeating each routine from day one to day three twice a week, therefore performing them again on days four, five, and six. It is also important to note that prior to weightlifting exhibitions, Maxik would also practice Olympic weightlifting style workouts with heavier weights to be able to perform during these exhibitions. For those interested, I have begun learning muscle control with Professor Juan Antonio Martinez Rojas, and I am exploring this system and perhaps in the future, and after much practice, may be able to present this system on this channel. And if you're interested in learning Maxix and Montesaldo's methods of Maxalding, you can visit my website for the most extensive list of books on the subject. So I do hope you have enjoyed this video and look at Maxik and his training methods. And if you have, please give the video a like, subscribe, and click the bell not notification. And please uh, leave me your comments. What do you think? I'm very interested in continually learning about the Bronze Era methods, and I hope you are too. Anyway, that's it for me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. Golden Era Bodybuilding Booklets are available at www.goldenerabookham.com, including Steve Reeves, Rich Park, Vince Geronda, Larry Scott, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mike Mensa, Danny Padilla, and much more. Online training is now available, including my new program, Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique, as well as Classic Cut, geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabooking.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platts, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now. As a natural bodybuilder, it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels, as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked, and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Get your gym wear and golden era apparel at the new golden era tees shop featuring designs from the silver era and golden era legends available as tanks, shirts, sweatshirts and hoodies in all sizes and colors. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm for merchandise including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases and much much more. Once again at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding.
If you're a fan of old school bodybuilding, then make sure to check out Sups the Movie. Filmmaker Alex Ardenti explores the $40 billion sports supplement industry, delving into the origins, evolution, and current state of supplements used by millions of fitness enthusiasts worldwide, available at Amazon and Vimeo.